let's do one more exercise in solid work sheet metal this is a kind of steel bracket if we see all dimensions are in millimeter thickness of sheet 1 millimeter bending radius 2 millimeter bending radius always counts from inside relief shape rectangle width and depth 1 1 millimeter okay now uh, we have this front view top view and left side view so here we will start with uh, top view so simply see the dimensions from this end to this end 40 millimeter 15 millimeter and see the corner radius are 5 and the length of this 63 millimeter and this width you will observe in front view 40 millimeter so first we will do this so first we have to make unit in millimeter right bottom you can change your units top plane is suitable click and click on the sketch okay now i am going to activate center rectangle and i am going to draw something some like this press escape key to out activate line tool and draw some shape like this okay exit now here what i am going to do press and hold shift key select center origin point and line and you will see this option coincide on mid plane so make mid plane okay one more options i am going to do this keep cursor and find midpoint shift key similarly find here midpoint now we have both midpoint vertical that's it smart dimension less defined dimension 40 this is also going to be 40 and uh, overall 63 okay now let me define this corner so before going apply sketch fillet 5 millimeter <coughs> now let me apply this corner yes yes and cancel now smart dimension now let's take this center distance 15 now look it shows fully defined sketch now select the center one construction geometry okay now simply exit and right click on any tab go to tabs and activate sheet metal from here activate base flange okay now use material sheet we don't have this option i don't want to use any gauge table directly i am going to go sheet metal parameter thickness one millimeter reverse direction see i want upper side k factor bending allows we don't have any table for this so i am going to go for standard now rectangle auto relief it is rectangle shape uncheck this one and here you can say one millimeter one millimeter we will see this uh, while doing age flange okay now let me uncheck this or let me select the change the color okay now let's do one thing let's do bend this 15 millimeter and see the bending is inside and the bending radius shows 2 millimeter and you will see this bending length width 35 millimeter height 15 35 millimeter and there is a relief angle we will see activate edge flange now if i am going to select one edge see you can move cursor and decide the direction select somewhere here and select somewhere here now before going to apply anything i am going to edit flange let's say age one edit flange just drag here smart dimension this is going to be 35 now back but similarly we have to do for this so select age two edit flange drag Okay, let's define this dimension 35 okay back 
isometric view now now look if you uncheck you can define your radius by default we already defined 2 mm so keep as it is angle angle of this bend 90 degree now length of this bending 15 mm from virtual sharp virtual sharp means the point going to meet this surface and this surface at this point so distance from here to top is going to be 15 millimeter now bending you can say outside bend outside material inside but our bending material inside that's why we need to do like this okay now come custom relief type now see here shape rectangle and width and diameter uh, depth one millimeter okay say okay look let's check select the inside radius and at bottom you will see two millimeter even though select this face press and hold shift key select this face and you will see the length 15 millimeter fine now similarly i am going to <coughs> apply this bend now look this is r8 corner and uh, 24 millimeter and height is 20 millimeter okay edge flange now select this edge move cursor edit flange now let's take inside a smart dimension 24 okay even though corner fillet sketch 8 millimeter now let me select these two edges okay even though you can define height from here 20 okay this is not still defined because uh, let me do one thing construction line now press and hold shift key and select these two line and third line oh sorry dot point and you will see this option symmetric now look our drawing seems fully defined back now we already defined here length so we don't need to define length here bending 90 degree 2 millimeter radius now here come custom relief <coughs> ratio i am going to keep same like one one rectangle shape material inside okay let's check this side okay see okay look okay let's make this 16 20 millimeter 8 millimeter 13 okay select this face sketch now i'm going to choose polygon exit circle 8 millimeter enter okay now okay let's do one thing press and hold shift key select this all three points in one line a smart dimension 20 13 okay and uh, okay let me select this face horizontal with smart dimension now end to end 16 millimeter fine now in sheet metal we have one option extruded cut now if you keep blind you have to apply dimensions and everything but there is option called link to thickness if you activate this 
you don't need to apply dimension it is simply going to cut the thickness of material see now look there is a two hole and here one more oblong hole so we will do this hole in one shot so there is one uh, interesting option unfold and fold sheet metal so we will use those things now look 8 millimeter from bottom so if you calculate from upper edge this is 15 7 millimeter similarly for this 12 millimeter from bottom so and 20 millimeter height so from top it's 8 millimeter just remember this now i'm going to select unfold now first we have to choose fixed face so i'm going to select this as a fixed face now even you can select one two bend or simply collect all bend see all the bends applied here okay look this is unfold now select this face sketch center rectangle center straight slot smart dimension 8 millimeter radius 2 millimeter and distance from upper edge it should be 8 millimeter okay now we have origin point so it's bet good good for us press and hold shift key select both the points vertical okay now holes done let's make hole here 5 millimeter now select both the holes equal similarly select the center point vertical A smart dimension 15 and the distance from this end 10 and the distance going to calculate from this side should be uh, 15 minus 8 it's 7 okay let me draw one construction line center line actually and i want to mirror this so simply i am going to select this all mirror entity see the whole arc mirror activate extruded cut feature now by default all the holes are selected here activated link to thickness so no need to define any thickness okay done now simply use fold now fix surface already selected bending you have to apply either manually or simply select all collect all bend all three bends up apply here okay look it's done galvanize the steel but for a view i am going to keep this view now we can make real view see let me open first flatten right click export to dxf give any name steel bracket dxf why we are going to take dxf because we can use this file in autocad and or, or for machining purpose now export faces loop edge sheet metal hidden edges bend line bounding box this outer box do you want forming tool we don't have say okay now look this is this outer line is bounding box so here this is the bending line so this is how we can export simply save now our drawing is safe now those drawing you can use for autocad or for machining purpose exit don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching okay here we forget to add chamfer or corner break see 545 45 degree now 
drop down and select break corner now here let me choose these two edges here I am going to choose break type chamfer 5 millimeter that's it